Arrow. Arrow. Come here. Oh, you want to go up top? Go upstairs. everyone this is Nick here with Project Bad we're at a house built in 1918 but the coolest part of this house is that steeple right there that is very rare and we got the opportunity the owners letting us come inside and check it out and then just like what I like to do we're gonna stay behind do a little work around the place and give back so make sure you stay tuned and hit that button about to go inside. This house is super cool. That makes it what a hundred and Now's the time to say something. I think we're good. Wow, look how awesome this is. This, this is an extra wide hallway. This I, is a custom house. It has a lot of bedrooms. We cleaned all that up so you can walk up the stairs. But see, you can see where the animals are. They're coming in. And yeah. I already had cleaned it once. Yeah, they're jumping in through a window or from underneath. This Queen Anne style home was built by Zachary Hickey in 1907. It's a 12 bedroom house over 2,000 square foot. And this family came to the little city of Hamlin and helped incorporate it back in 1905 to 1907. They also built the first hotel in town and grocery store. But sadly, Mr. Hickey himself died in 1915. His wife, Molly, she died the following year, leaving the house to their two boys, Lutheran and John. No. See, the electrical panel is still here, so they haven't took the electrical panel. Yeah, they have the electrical added to the front, but we never actually... Do you know how many square feet this is? What's the poop? There's a lot of poop. Oh, uh, yes. I do. Oh, wow. Look at this piano. They wrote this one, they wrote this one too. It is 2,062 square feet on... Half of an acre. That is amazing. That is a lot of land. And lost. Then in 1927, Roy Hartwell purchased the home and he divided the house into several apartments to help them get through the Great Depression. Oh, yeah. Lots of history here. They posted it on Facebook and my husband said, You're going to look at a land way out there? And I said, Yes, it's beautiful. <laughs> How's that? Yeah. It's okay, but there's a couple. It is safe to walk. Be careful because it's dirty. This house is amazing. It's over 2,200 square feet on a half acre lot built in 1918. Caught fire back in the day when a child was being born here. So if anyone knows who was born here, please leave it in the comments because that's pretty cool and very old. Man. And the story was they were uh, making hot water, you know, the midwives. Place caught fire. It's huge up here. Is it? it is. Yeah. It used, to, it used to be a plantation. Uh, if you look in that, or if you, when you're walking up the stairs. Yes. When you look outside, where it's real bad. There's the old servants' quarters right there. It's amazing. You can see the damage. This has happened recently because that wasn't there before. That must yeah. be coming from the roof. See how that's coming in? That's because all wet. Oh. Yeah. Back in March of 1926, a fire destroyed a back upper apartment in the house. This was during the birth of a baby. One lady left the stove on while assisting the mother in another apartment during delivery. Can you just imagine having a baby while the house is on fire at the same time? Smoke coming down the hallways while someone's screaming push? Man, 
Who was this baby? If anyone has any clue or knows, please leave it in the comments because I would like to know who this crazy, miraculous baby was. Man, look at this old room. This place right here is amazing. We're going to count all the bedrooms in a second. This old house is awesome. It has a steeple. Used to be an old plantation house back in the day. Not slavery days, but where they used to like, you know, have farmers come in, all that stuff. It's pretty cool. A lot of bedrooms. In this old corner room where all the old farm hands used to stay. This is pretty cool. Okay, look at the original hardwood floors. Can't beat it. See where they're talking about where the fire happened back in the day? Back when a baby was being born and caught fire. This place is awesome. You, know, you can tell they're starting to remodel it a little bit, but a lot of bad people in town are coming in and destroying the work that they're trying to, you know, bring this back to life. All the love again. Check out the ceiling and the shiplap walls. Amazing. Look at that. I'm guessing this used to be the old kitchen where someone just loved teal. Check out the glass case and everything. This is amazing. Still works. So cool. I've actually never seen one like this. Also, during World War II and after the war, most of the rooms were rented out to the military newlyweds for there was a big housing shortage at the time. And the Hartwell family owned and operated this historic Queen Anne until 1972. This house was built in 1907, so that makes it 115 years old. That is so much history right here. Nick Arrow Kinsey Avenger, or should I say the Nick Kinsey Arrow Adventures? Come on, let's go down here, go. What is it? You see anything you like? Keep going. These rooms are so cool. I hope you enjoyed this little short film of an awesome place that we got to explore. And I'm going to do a little bit of landscaping before we leave. Thanks for watching Exploring Project Bad. Or should I say, thanks for watching Project Bad. I will be changing the name. I'm shortening it down, y'all. So this is official, letting you guys know Project Bad. Let your friends know. All right, let's go, bud.
go check out the servants' quarters. It's pretty cool. We might not be able to get upside because the old stairway is gone. You can see where it was at though. Let's try it. Look at that. You going with me, Arrow? That's all right, we have permission. Oh, wow. These are all old beds are and stuff. This is probably where Rouse thinks we're at. Arrow, do not go in there. Furniture from back in the day, old couches, old showers, not too creepy. Now we're gonna count the bedrooms up top. We got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we'll just pop in and see what we can see. Six, nope, this is the bathroom, old bathroom back in the day. Six. Seven. Walk-in closet. Nope. This is eight. And nine. Man, that's crazy. So we got nine bedrooms, one bath upstairs. Again, 1918. It's like stepping back in time. Can you just imagine the people who used to live here, call this home, heating it in the winter time, roughing it in the heat of summer. It's awesome. Let's continue on, so nine bedrooms up top. Swag carpet, swanky y'all. 